When ordering on the official website, use the discount code MAXIECUYT to get a 5% discount and contribute to the development of this channel. Maxi ECU, using many years of experience in the automotive industry, has created completely new Maxi ECU 3.0 software, which on the diagnostic software market is characterized by the use of the latest technologies, intuitiveness, and support for increasingly demanding new vehicle models. What does the latest generation of the program look like and how to move in the new environment? You will learn everything by watching this video. It is worth noting that the new Maxi ECU program can be used on desktop computers and on the latest smartphones and tablets. For the purposes of this video, we will use the Windows system option, but navigating the program and the availability of functions are almost identical also for mobile devices. The only additional feature worth mentioning in the case of mobile devices is to search for vehicles by the QR code from the registration certificate or by the code placed on the vehicle's windshield. The program works only with the latest Maxi ECU interfaces, the link to which is in the video description. There will also be information about supported systems and minimum requirements to run the program. After starting Maxi ECU, we will see the login screen. We log in by entering the email address and password that we provided when registering the purchased interface. After logging in, all the basic functions of the program will appear. The car icon is responsible for the main page and you will find options such as automatic vehicle scanning, list of favorite vehicles added by the user, manually select the vehicle you want to scan, list of recently connected vehicles, The next tab of the program is the gear icon. Here are the basic settings for language selection, changing the unit of measurement, setting the connection mode with the interface, turning on the program's offline mode, the function of starting the service logger, which records the operation of the program and helps identify any problems occurring on the software side, but that will be used only at the request of the Maxi EQ technical department. Warning mode, where you can disable or enable Windows warning about dangerous functions or procedures. The last tab is an icon showing the user's profile, where you will find all information about your account and the current status of the program. Here we can supplement the information with the selected name or graphic, which will later be placed on diagnostic reports. Check whether our database and application have the latest updates. Log out of the program, change your password, or refresh the license if you extend the product's functionality with additional brands or special functions. The main window of the program is the most expected functionality. Its main advantage is the automatic search for vehicles for which we have purchased a license. Using this function as the name suggests allows you to automatically detect the vehicle and read faults from all modules available in the program for the selected vehicle. The function is supported in cars working in the OBD2 standard and identifies the car based on the VIN number saved in the controller. After a full scan, we will obtain a list of modules found in the vehicle with information about their status. Here we can go to each module to check or remove faults and perform basic service functions. Another very intuitive option is the ability to view all functions available for the vehicle, such as service inspections, adaptations and tests. Selecting any of the options will automatically redirect the user to function and connect to the module in which it appears.
The next options in this module are, of course, deleting faults in all detected controllers and generating a report in PDF format ready for printing. By selecting the star icon at the top of the screen, we add the scanned car to the favorites list. This will make it even easier and faster for us to start the next scan. We can also manually select the vehicle we are interested. By entering this option, all brands available in the program will be displayed. Those highlighted in a lighter color are brands for which we have an active license. If we want to gain access to another brand, just use it on our list and we will be automatically redirected to the user's account on the website from which we can purchase a new license. After selecting the model, we want to diagnose we can indicate the engine manually or use the automatic engine detection function based on the chassis number. After correctly detecting the vehicle, a list of modules available in the vehicle will be displayed. Here we can select the one in which we want to perform diagnostics or use one of the advanced options available in it. As you can see in the video, after connecting to the engine module, there are tabs corresponding to Fault Reading, where we will find all faults related to a specific module and the possibility of their removal. Information about the controller. Current parameters, where we can read information from individual vehicle components in live mode. Here you will also find the option to save the most frequently used parameters to make your work easier the next time you connect to this module. Controller configuration, where you check the saved settings in a controller. Advanced functions or coding, options for the most experienced users, allowing for individual configuration of the controller. Adaptation, where we can find all service procedures such as regeneration of the particulate filter, release of brake pistons and injector coding or adapting components to the controller after replacing them as well as other more advanced functions. Their scope depends on the vehicle and the module with which we connect it. Tests, a module which, as the name suggests, has the function of triggering tests of specific elements in the vehicle. Based on them, we can assess whether a given component responds to the scent impulse controller. And special functions. The options available in this tab are functions that go beyond the standards of car diagnostics available on the market. Here you will find the ability to read controller pins, coding keys, reset the immobilizer or remove the crash data from the airbag memory, and some more advanced options. Mainly due to limitations on the part of car manufacturers, these functions may require purchasing additional access. The list of available functions can be found in the user's account. Types operation and accessing special functions we will discuss in more detail in a separate video. We have one more option available on the main page of the program. This is the function of connecting to recently scanned vehicles. 
It enables quick identification and reconnection with a vehicle that has recently been serviced by us. Remember that the scope of product functionality may vary depending on the selected vehicle model. To avoid any confusion, we have created a special page where you can verify the options available for the vehicle before purchasing the program. The link to the website is below the video. If there are any questions related to the operation of the program, we encourage you to comment. We will certainly answer all troubling issues or include more detailed descriptions for specific options in next materials on the channel.